Osteoarthritis is very well known that it's affecting people that are overusing their joints. People that were professional athletes, they will develop faster osteoarthritis because they overuse their joints. There is also a special category of people, people that they have a genetic collagen deficiency or a change in their collagen. We call this people with hypermobility syndrome that will develop wear and tear faster than normal people. And that's usually the type of osteoarthritis. On the other hand, rheumatoid arthritis, it's an autoimmune disease where our immune system from multiple reasons, sometimes we don't understand the reasons, but most of the time there is a genetic component there. And then on that genetic component, we can have lifestyle factors, pollution, viruses that can come and stimulate our immune system to such a degree that it starts acting towards our own body. And that's a type of autoimmune disease. So the big difference is that one is wear and tear and the other one is caused by excessive amount of inflammation. Now to simplify things, to make it easier for people to understand is the type of pain that people will experience. So in osteoarthritis, people will develop pain usually after activity. And they will also have a little bit of stiffness in their joints, but that stiffness will not last long. Usually it can last five minutes, 10 minutes to up to half an hour. Those people do not develop usually swelling of the joints. And when we ask patients about those characteristics of the pain, that will lead us towards a diagnosis more towards osteoarthritis. So just to summarize, pain is there, stiffness is there, but not so much. And then swelling is not usually present. On the other hand, rheumatoid arthritis causes a lot of pain, a lot of swelling, and a lot of morning stiffness. And this is important. The stiffness will be present in the morning and will last more than one hour in many patients, but the movement will help that stiffness. So the more they move, the easier it's gonna be for them. So that's the big difference between these two types of arthritis.